Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. And today, I've got kind of a uh, public service announcement uh, to do uh, regarding the 80% um, uh, lowers here in the state of California. So if you don't live in California, this doesn't really pertain to you. But if you do live in California, it does pertain to you because it's a law that's coming up that's going to re, um, uh, impact the way that we actually build these 80% lowers. Okay. Uh, those of you who don't live in California, you can watch this and, and chuckle and you know, laugh about how crazy California is. I mean, <laughs> okay, that said, um, as you know, the 80% lower concept over the last year and a half or so, two years, has really taken hold and been, you know, very popular. Uh, we sell the Polymer 80, 80% lower, uh, in um, a full size as well as a compact size that will accept parts for a Glock 22, Glock 17, uh, Glock 34, Glock 35, or for the compact Glock 19, Glock 23, Glock 32. Uh, so that's the one we sell from Polymer 80. We also sell the uh, SS80, 80% uh, 80 lower, which works for the uh, uh, Glock 43 parts, accepts Glock 43 parts, and you can build those up. And they turn out great. I mean, people you know, from all walks of life are able to uh, you know, kind of hobby a gun together. Here's one that we've built for display. It's a, um, uh, a, a compact with a Glock 19 slide on it, and uh, basically an RMR, and um, uh, suppressor sights, and you know, these are awesome, they're beautiful. They turn out great. Uh, they look good. They shoot good. I mean, they're really fantastic. Um, you know, here's another one. Uh, same concept. Uh, also uh, now in a gray versus uh, that was kind of a titanium uh, color there or, or, or cobalt, I believe is what that was. This is a gray uh, uh, color and again, uh, a custom slide. And uh, this is uh, chambered in nine millimeter. And you can see it's uh, pretty fun stuff. You can actually do all kinds of neat things to it. You finish the frame yourself. And, and as most of you know, the 80% concept uh, is basically uh, legal in all 50 states. It's still legal in California, still will be legal in California. They just have a couple more hoops that they want us to jump through uh, in regards to how they, uh, they manage this. So this is what you basically get. You get yourself a jig uh, that uh, holds the 80% uh, frame. And the 80% frame that gets finished, and once you finish it, then you're able to uh, digest or accept parts into it to complete it to make it actually a functioning firearm. Uh, like I said, totally legal, uh, been legal for many, many years. Uh, just has gotten very, very popular lately uh, because of the advances in technology, et cetera, et cetera. The SS80, like I said, um, is an 80% lower that accepts Glock 43 parts. Now, what's happening in California, and here's how this is going to go, and I actually have a memo here from the uh, State, of uh, State of California Department of Justice. So I'm going to read it verbatim, and we'll put some of the words on, on the screen so you can actually see it. So, it's an Assembly Bill 857, and it regards firearms, ghost guns is what they call it. Ooh, ghost gun. Okay. All right, so the first thing is commencing July 1st. 2018. July 1st, 2018. Starting on July 1st, 2018. The law will require a person who manufactures or assembles a firearm to first apply to the Department of Justice for a unique serial number. Okay, that's starting July 1st. You have to first apply to the Department of Justice for a unique, ser uh, unique serial number. Okay. The second part of this, any individual as of July 1st, 2018, who owns a firearm without a serial number must also apply for a unique serial number by January 1st, 2019. So that means beginning July 1st, 2018, you're supposed to apply to get a serial number by 2019, January 1st. Okay. The law says you cannot also say, uh, you, it will prohibit the sale or transfer of a firearm manufacturer assembled pursuant to these provisions. I think that was already part of the law, but that's, you know, you can't assemble these now and sell it to anybody else. You can't make a business out of making these guns. And uh, what's really interesting is it says the department is drafting regulations that specify the acceptable procedures for obtaining a serial number for a firearm that does not possess one. So that means at this time, here it is February 2018, they really don't know what the procedures will be to actually get the serial number that they're going to require you to get after July 1st. So it's a little bit crazy, 
but you know, this is California. So we kind of expect that, but you know, we all want to follow the laws. So that's why I'm kind of talking about this right now, because you know, it's right now between now and July 1st, it's still the same game. So what my suggestion would be is that you buy the polymer 80s and the SS 80s, the 80% lowers that you're interested in building and you build them and you get them done. And you can assign your own number right now, and it will have a serial number. Because after July 1st, if it doesn't have a serial number, you have to apply for one. But the way the law states right now, if the gun has a serial number, and you assign that, then you, well, you already have a serial number. And one of the things that we've heard, that one of the you know, uh, things that could be done for the serial number, a unique number for those of you who live in California, would be a rendition of your California driver's license number. So if your California driver's license number is uh, N66333333, you, know, you could put an X on the back of that, or you could put a Y on the back of that, or an A on the back of that, and then the next time you do another one, you do the same thing, N66333B, N66333C, and you could then have all the guns related to you in particular, because it's your particular California driver's license number, and you can then, each individual gun would have, if you build multiples, would have uh, a unique clarifying number. And then, of course, you have done what the laws ask you to do. You've assigned a serial number, and you have a serial number before July 1st, so you don't have to apply for one. And that's kind of how my interpretation of this law is. We, of course, will post this information on our website, so you can you know, go look at it, and uh, again, um, this is all they sent us right here. Just this last four sentences. So not a whole lot of information. Uh, and of course, everybody's going to interpret it in a different way. But that's my interpretation. Between now and July 1st, if you build one of these 80 percenters and you then assign a serial number to it, a unique serial number, that, something that you want to do, well, then you have the ability uh, to say that, hey, uh, it already has a serial number. I don't have to apply for one. So that being said, uh, I'm Lenny McGill. This is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. We're in San Diego. We do sell the Polymer 80 lowers. We sell the SS80 lower as well. All of these accept Glock parts. So that's why we sell them, because we're the Glock Store. And we have the Glock parts. We've got the internal parts. We've got slides, triggers. Sights, barrels, all the good stuff to go ahead and finish the gun yourself. So if you have any questions, certainly don't hesitate to call us. And uh, you can always look on the website. And uh, of course, you can always email us as well. So thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill. If you're ever in San Diego, drop by our store. We've got a lot of information and a lot of really cool guns for you to look at and to shoot in our shooting ranges. Thanks for watching.